Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? Uh, R.I.P. Juice World. Rest in peace to Juice World, you feel me? And I feel like uh, I really need to touch on certain topics about that, you feel me? Because he went, he went way too early. 21, you should not be having seizures at 21. You should not just be dropping dead out of nowhere at 21. And this just happened right over by where, where I stay, you feel me? This is in our area. This just happened at uh, Midway Airport in Chicago, you feel me? So this right over by us. So this kind of close to home, you feel me? He was the highest paid artist in Chicago, you know? So you should have never went out early like that. And, you know, he planned it that way. He kept on talking about, you know, I, we ain't going to make it past 21, stuff like that. But a lot of a lot of us young people got that mentality nowadays. And that that's not cool, bro. Like real shit, that's not cool, bro. Like. They, I see a lot of us young people walk around just popping pills, throwing them, throwing them down like they like they candy, bro. I'm talking about well, we ain't gonna live long anyways. Like fam, that's a that's a, a self destructive, suicidal attitude, bro. That like when did we when did we come to this? When did this become cool? Like it just it just don't make no sense to me. And a lot of my followers do the same thing. They pop a whole bunch of Zans, Percocets. Uh, flats, triple stacks, Molly, ecstasy, all that stuff. You feel me, like, bro? These pills is deadly, bro. These pills is deadly. Y'all don't understand that they so deadly. And there's downers, there's uppers. That's all that we got. Pills that can do everything, bro. Y'all need to stay away from that stuff. I'm trying to tell y'all that that's what's killing you. That's killing us, bro. It's ki it's killing us more than what crack. Heroin and meth and all that stuff was killing us, fam, for real. So so why why is we cool with this now, bro? It don't make no sense to me because when we was young, we used to be the ones talking crap about all the crackhead. Oh, you that's a crackhead right there. Or, oh, he that's a heroin addict. You know, shit like that. Seeing these motherfuckers laid out on the street and shit. That half sleep, you feel me? Can't even move and shit, nigga. Heroin. Nigga, motherfuckers are out here off meth and shit. We used to talk crap about that, bro. We used to crack jokes. Oh, yo, you a crack, baby. Your mama a crackhead. This and that, this and that. Oh, Y'all a heroin addict. Didn't we used to talk crap about that because it was not cool. But the, the new age drug addicts is cool. Like, real stuff. You didn't hear nobody back in the day on they rap music, none of this. Oh, yeah, I'll just sniff some coke and I'll just smoke some crack. And now I'm shooting up heroin. Finna get off that meth. You didn't hear people talking like that, bro, because it, it was... It was all the way not acceptable, bro. Now we made it acceptable to basically be a crackhead, bro. Fam, just because you taking pills, this and that, fam, this, that shit's worse than fucking coke and shit like that, bro. Real stuff, nigga. You all Percocets all day, every day. Xanax all day, every day. You popping flats and ecstasy and stuff like that, bro. That shit is dangerous, bro. Real stuff. And that and now that's cool to do that. We got all type of music talking about, oh, I'll pop the perk. Oh, I'll pop the Xan, this and that. Talking about popping bars, all this and that, folk. Getting off a flat, and that's cool now, bro. That's what y'all don't. What y'all don't realize is y'all doing that. Y'all is the modern day crackheads, the modern day meth heads, the modern day heroin addicts, bro. Y'all is the modern day. This is just the new version. You feel me? They had to find a way to make this acceptable. You feel me? And, and it's just like fam. The music is really pushing that. The music is really pushing that. Juice World used to push that, but at the same time, he was letting you know that he was giving you a message in his music too. He wasn't happy. He was depressed. His life was fucked up. Like that's what his music was really about, bro. And that's how all you guys is is going about it too. Y'all y'all telling yourselves this story, and y'all want pity and this and that. Like oh, everything's so bad, so I'm just gonna pop these pills, this and that. That's not gonna help you, bro. You gotta learn how to cope with it naturally, not with these drugs, bro. Like, for real, you got to learn how to deal with that naturally, bro, on some real stuff because you just making yourself weak. You basically calling yourself weak. Like, you're not strong enough to go through this shit and get through this shit. So you got to do all this other stuff as an escape, which it ain't even a real escape. It puts you further deeper into the hole. And then on top of that, it make you addicted. These pills are some of the most addictive stuff, bro. They some of the most addictive stuff. And they some of the most, they have some of the most fucking deadliest withdrawals, bro. For real, I know people on SSRIs, antidepressants and stuff like that, they can never get off them bitches, bro, because they been on them. And now their body thinks they need that. Just like how your body thinks it needs oxygen or blood, bro. It thinks it needs this pill. You feel me? Because now it's so used to having that. Just like it's so used to having food and water. Now your, now your body is treating these pills like food and water. Like, I need this. Otherwise, I'm not going to survive. Like, for real, though, bro, that you don't want to be like that. Man, then once they stop getting they fixed... 
They go too many days without getting their fix. You'll start having seizures, bro. For real, because your body, your body ain't gonna know how to. Your body just gonna shut down, bro. It's gonna be like, hold on. It's just gonna be like you ain't getting water or food. It's gonna be like that, bro. Real shit. Because now these pills is like water and food to you, bro. You do not want to get like that, fam. It's, it's all us young people dying from this crap, bro. And we dying way too early, bro. Way too early. Even the crackheads and the the meth heads and heroin addicts wouldn't even die in this damn early, bro. We dying before we even hit 20 off this shit, bro. For real, that sh That fam, we worse than the crackheads and the heroin addicts because we accept it. We make it cool, bro. Y'all got to understand. Like, fam, just stick just stick to the weed and the alcohol. If you got to do anything, just do weed and alcohol, bro. For real, that's it. Keep it basic. Keep it basic. Why you got to go do all this other stuff, bro? All this extra ass shit. I'm talking about this shit that you pop one too many of these and it'll be your last time. It'll be your last nap. Real shit, bro. Real shit, bro. Oh, you pop one too many of these, your heart going to blow up. Nigga, it's going to fucking go so damn hard. Your shit going to blow up, nigga. Like, fam, that shit is dangerous. I can smoke as much as this as I want, nigga, and I'm going to be cool. I fuck around and be healthier than you because I smoke too much of this. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Y'all see the facts? Y'all see the science out there, nigga? Real shit, bro. And yeah, be moderate with the alcohol. Don't be out here getting drunk. You're not supposed to ever be drunk. But ain't nothing wrong with taking a few shots here and there. Well, you know, get, you know, getting a little, you know, getting a little looser. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You're just not supposed to be drunk. Period, bro. Do everything in moderation. Everything is to be done in moderation. You're not supposed to be doing overdoing nothing. But we got all these people putting these messages in the music and they making it cool. They putting the messages in the music and people going out there and they, they running with it. It's just like the future incident. Like they ask the future. So do you really do all this? And future saying, no, I don't really do all these drugs. I just put it in the music because that's what they want to hear. So future fucking clowning y'all ass. Like y'all dumb as hell being a drug addicts. I'm not going to do that shit, but I'm putting it in the music because that's what y'all want to hear. And that's what y'all want to do. So go do y'all while I make this money off y'all. Real shit, bro. I can't count how many people fam when Dirty Sprite 1 and 2 was coming out, 56 Nights, all that shit, bro. How many people was motherfucking sipping lean and, and popping pills, getting off this shit, bro, to future, bro. Real shit, bro. And this ain't no this ain't no disrespect to um to Juice World. This is more like a wake-up call, bro. This is a wake-up call. Cause at 21, fam, at 21, bro, you're not even in the in the at your peak yet. You ain't even got your grown man strength yet. You ain't even got your full speed yet. You ain't got your full power yet, nigga. You not you not fully grown yet. You feel me? You on your way to your peak. You not even there yet. So ain't no way you should be dropping dead at twenty at twenty one, nigga. You supposed to be the healthiest you ever been in your fucking life, nigga. You supposed to be in the best shape you ever been in your fucking life, nigga. But when you doing all these drugs and this and that, plus and plus, I'm pretty sure he was overworking himself. Because when, when you that big of a star, he was the highest paid Chicago, Chicago artist, you feel me? So you know he was on tour all the damn time, on the road all the damn time, on planes all the damn time. Probably not getting enough sleep at that, which is dangerous within itself. Plus doing all these motherfucking drugs and shit, boy, that shit weaken you. It weaken your heart, nigga. Weaken your organs, bro. Real shit. A lot of you motherfuckers popping all these pills, doing all this shit, fam. And y'all late 20s, y'all gonna have a heart of a late 30, 40 year old, bro. Real shit. Y'all heart gonna be old as hell, bro. Y'all liver gonna be fucked up, fam. Did these pills destroy y'all liver more than anything? Motherfuckers talk about alcohol. No, these pills, nigga, your liver have a problem fucking breaking down these pills. At least alcohol is like natural, you feel me? On some real shit. These pills, they they being chemically processed in some motion. These pharmaceuticals, you feel me? Nigga, that, that fam, your fucking whole liver will fail. You you take too many of these pills, bro. That's how dangerous these motherfucking pills is, bro. On some real shit. That shit will fucking weaken your liver, weaken your heart, all that shit. Kidneys, fam, all that shit. Stay away from that shit, bro. For real, let this be a message to y'all. And shout out Juice World. You know, I know people like that. People like him and XXX. They connect with, with the depressed community. With the people that, that feel like they're sitting in a dark corner. You feel me? They can connect with that, which, which is good. You feel me? Because everybody needs somebody to... to everybody need to know that somebody else is going through the same shit they're going through. When you're going through a hard time. Because that makes you get through it. That makes you feel better. Okay, it's not just me. It's other people going through it too, you feel me? So that's why a lot of people be connecting with people like him and XXX because they spoke on their depression. They spoke on how they felt down all the time and shit like that, you feel me? But at the same time, you should be taking that as a message. Like, okay, 
Let me try to better my life. Let, let's go exercise, you feel me? Do shit like that. Go exercise, you feel me? Go eat right. Try and eat right. Try and do stuff like try and take care of yourself, you feel me? At the end of the day, why we ain't got why we ain't got artists and rappers pushing the message, hey, go exercise, go eat right, do this and that. Because they ain't gonna sign nobody like that, you feel me? They only gonna sign a motherfucker that's gonna that's gonna try to tell you to destroy yourself, basically. Yeah, pop these pills, this and that. It's okay, we young, this is what we do. Do your thing. We ain't gonna live long anyways. They want people pushing that type of message because that's gonna subliminally affect our people, which it is, bro. I, I, fam, I see it everywhere now. People don't care about their life no more. Fuck it. I ain't gonna live long anywhere. They popping Zans every day. How? How, bro? How, bro? I just don't get it, fam. Every day, bro. Come on, man. Now, I know, fam, sometimes it be them days like that. Like, fam, this is one of them days, bro. This is definitely one of them days. It's not my day, blah, blah, blah. It be one of them days, bro. So you might have to go pop a little sand or something like that. Okay, that's once every blue moon, nigga. Why is you popping this shit every day, my nigga? For real, bro. I know we all go through shit, you feel me? I know we all need, we all need, you know, a way to release sometimes, you feel me? But there's better ways to do it. It's exercises, all types of stuff. It's even, fam, sparring, fam. Me, I go up to the boxing gym. I'm not even a fucking boxer, bro, but I always hang around the boxers and the MMA fighters, you feel me? I'm not, I don't go officially fight like they do. I just go to the gym and spar with them, give them practice, give me practice. We train each other, you feel me? And, bro, you wouldn't believe how good you'll feel after you leave out of a boxing gym or MMA gym. The one I go to has both there. You wouldn't believe how good you'll feel when you leave up out of there, you feel me? Because it's like... You got to release all that pent up stuff, all that stuff you needed to cope with, deal with. You can release it when you go fight somebody, bro, on some real stuff. And when you sparring, it's not like it's a real fight. So it ain't like we got anger towards each other. It's just, fam, we, we sharpening each other up. That's all it is. You feel me? And you wouldn't believe how good that makes you feel after you're done, bro. After you got, got you was able to get everything off your chest. You know, all this pent up energy, all this pent up frustration you have. You know, you could take it out on something. You could take it out on someone. Like, real shit, bro. And they could take theirs out on you. That shit feel good, too, bro. Some real shit. You giving some hits, taking some hits, you feel me? Because that's how life is, bro. You give some, you take some. That's how it is, bro. And you start to realize that shit, bro. Like, for real. Y'all got to y'all gotta stop, bro. Y'all keep on looking for stuff outside of y'all self to make yourself happy within. That shit don't make no sense. You have to go within. If you don't go within, then you're going to be without. Period, bro. So you got to go within. They look into the outside. So they look into all these pills and all these alcohol and all these drugs and this and that. And, you know, somebody can say the same thing about me. Well, you smoking weed. Well, this weed ain't killing me, bro. Shit, if you ask me, this ain't did nothing but benefit me. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people we can say the same thing about. And then if you want to really go there, we can talk about cancer patients. We can talk about people with diseases and illnesses that's using this to better themselves, bro. For real, though. I would have never even got, I would have never even started being intellectual and spiritual and stuff like that until I picked this up, bro. For real. But you can't say no, you can't, you can't find nobody saying the same thing about crack or meth or motherfucking Xanax. Oh, if it wasn't for Xanax, I would have never got spiritual and just get the fuck out of here, bro. Ain't nobody saying that shit. So, you know, somebody can say the same thing about me, which, yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and deny it. I could see this as a vice too. When you smoking too much, when your ass fam, you you got to smoke before you do anything and shit like that. Yeah, you got a motherfucking problem, bro, and some real shit. I'm not like that, but I see motherfuckers that do that, and, and they smoke all day, every day. They don't get nothing done, don't got a job, whatever the case is, but they can sit around the guys and smoke all day, every day. No, that's not cool, bro. For real. For real, we young, you supposed to be out here getting it. If you young, you supposed to be out here getting it, trying to set up for your life, bro. With us in our uh, teen, teen years and, and 20s, bro. You supposed to be setting your empire up, bro. For real, you supposed to be out here working. Period, bro. You're not supposed to be just be sitting around getting off the drugs all day. Like, when when did that become cool? Them motherfuckers see me and they, they look at me like I'm doing something can't nobody else do. I'm not doing nothing can't nobody else do, bro. All y'all watching me can be better than me, bro. All y'all watching me can be higher than me, bro. Y'all got y'all can have y'all can have higher stats than me. Y'all can have more assets, more more things than me. Y'all can have higher prosperity than me. Y'all can be stronger than me, faster than me. All that, bro. Y'all, I'm not nothing that can't nobody else be. That's just period. But what it is, I discipline myself. You feel me? I discipline myself to to get the right things done, bro. On me now, if I was just sitting around popping Zan Perkinses every day, I wouldn't care about that. I'll be sleep. 
I already know what it is that pops in and shit like that, bro. I know what it is to not remember the whole last day you just had, bro. Because you was off Xanax, bro. How was that cool to you? Motherfucker, steal money from you, you wouldn't even know. Real shit. You wouldn't even know, bro. On some real shit, family. Xanax is the new heroin, bro. Real shit. When you off Xanax, that's just like how it is when you off heroin, nigga. You don't remember shit. You sleeping, nigga. All that shit. You could fall asleep and not even know you fell asleep, bro. That is, heroin addicts do the same exact thing, bro. Real shit, bro. So you just got to look at it like that, fam. You got to look at it like, fam, you really is doing some hard drugs, bro. And don't say it ain't no hard drug. Because, you, like I said, you pop one too many of those, it'll be your last time. Real shit, bro. And, and really, y'all doing that stuff to yourself now, but it's just slow motion. Y'all slowly killing yourselves right now. Y'all do not realize it. Motherfuckers talking about they, they uh, stopped taking Xans and started having seizures and shit. That's how you know you went too far. Don't you want to live? Don't you want to live? Like, fam, deep down in every living being is the, at the, at the core of your being is, is the instinct to survive, bro. Real shit. We all got that instinct within us to survive, bro. That's why when you see motherfuckers even trying to kill themselves, they stop themselves right before they kill themselves because it deep, fam, at the core of your being is that instinct to survive, bro. Real shit. Nigga, that at the, fam, that's what your ego is. Your ego is based purely on survival, bro. Real shit. That's all your ego cares about is survival, which is why it acts the way it acts because it's always trying to self-preserve you. It's always about self-preservation, bro. Real shit is always trying to, it's always worried about you on some real shit. That's what ego is, bro. Y'all got to realize this shit, man. But man, I just, I just want everybody to clean up they act, man. Because at the end of the day, we kings. We kings, bro. Period. On 49 grade, you feel me? At the end of the day. Shit. We kings, boy. Remember that shit. So treat, your, treat yourself like a king, you feel me? Treat yourself like a king. Would a king, would a king be sitting there getting, getting off the drugs all day? You know, not even able to defend themselves? Nigga, because some of y'all motherfuckers be off these drugs and for a little kid could come take your life if he wanted to because you so fucked up. Like, that's how bad of a state you in. Like, real shit. And that's why y'all know black don't crack. But that's why we can tell all the, when, when we see older black people, we can tell who did drugs and who didn't take care of themselves because you'll see wrinkles all in their face. you just see it in their face, bro. Because black don't crack. On some real shit, bro. Take care of yourself, cause a lot of y'all motherfuckers, especially y'all female fem, a lot of y'all females pretty, bro. Y'all beautiful and y'all y'all abusing yourselves like this. Y'all popping all these pills and shit, bro. Do y'all not realize when y'all when y'all get near thirty, y'all gonna look like y'all in y'all mid forties, bro. Real shit, y'all better cut that shit out, bro. Uh, shout out to Juice World, man. Rest in peace, Juice World. But let this be a message to y'all. You feel me? For real though, like so, don't nobody else go down that path because we only know about him because he's famous. But we also not thinking about all the other motherfuckers that die from this shit daily, bro. It's a new epidemic, bro. Like let let let's get it right though. Let's get it right. Let's be kings, bro. Let's be king. A king wouldn't be doing that to itself. You feel me? Let's be kings. Let's be gods. Like real stuff though. I'm out.